check it real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm live. You know, that's what happens when you go live. You think you're live and you're not sure if you're live. So I had to see the little red thing to make sure I was live. Happy Wednesday. I had not planned on doing this necessarily uh, this afternoon, but I got in the kitchen and started having so much fun with what I was putting together that I thought, I have to share this. So before I show y'all what I put together, which is hamburger steak and, and rice and gravy and um, green beans in one bowl, I have a question for you. And you can respond or not, and we'll chat back and forth later. If you're like me, you have those nights where you know you need to fix something to eat, but you, ne you haven't necessarily been to the grocery store for the week, or maybe you have been to the grocery store and you still haven't meal prepped or dinner planned, or maybe like me, and that's my case uh, right now is, we are traveling tomorrow, we're leaving tomorrow afternoon, and we'll be out of town until Sunday. And so when I went to the grocery store, I did not prep, you know, buy a whole lot of fresh vegetables and things that I knew would spoil because I knew I would have to turn right around either on Sunday evening when we returned or Monday and go to the store again. But we're hungry. We still got to eat, right? So... I got in here and just decided I would try to throw together something that was um, still really good and believe it or not, somewhat healthy. And speaking of healthy, that, you know, Southern eating, I, early on when I started Southern Inspirations, I had one of our followers comment that we didn't have a clue about eating healthy, you know, that Southern could be healthy and that's not, a dig at like him or anybody else. Believe it or not, Brad and I do eat healthy 90 plus percent of the time and we do a lot of meal preps. And I'm gonna be doing some some meal prep videos in, um, in the future. But anyway, we also do a lot of fun Southern cooking that I've never claimed to be healthy, but it's just good. So I bought these Pre knowing that I was traveling, uh, that we're traveling tomorrow, um, and that I didn't necessarily have a whole lot of time to make a lot of homemade stuff, I bought some pre-made um, ground beef patties from Kroger that have pieces of jalapeno in them, and they're stuffed with pepper jack cheese, two things that Brad and I love. So tonight I got in here, and we're gonna kind of do this backwards. Tonight, I'm gonna to show y'all the completed dish, and then I'll walk through kind of how I did it. So let me readjust the camera. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting this, by the way. We're having so much fun. I hope you're enjoying Southern Inspirations and Good Eating. Continue to like, share, comment, and I wanna see your creations and, and what you do in the kitchen. So let me start, like I said, we're gonna kinda of go backwards. This is a completed, hope y'all can see it. Y'all know I try to like show it without spilling it all over the place. But um, I, first of all, I love these little bowls. I got it um, at home. They were very reasonable. I love the different patterns on the inside versus the outside. I just love presentation and playing around presentation. But, so this right here is the pre-made hamburger patty I was just talking about that had the jalapenos and pepper jack already stuffed in it. So, uh, um, okay, I'm not gonna get to the preparation yet. So there's the hamburger patty. Okay, this is success boil in the bag rice. That is a staple in my pantry. We love rice, I always love rice. This is canned green beans Kroger brand. Yeah, we do, a, I love fresh green, green beans. We support a whole lot of the local farmer's markets, but I, this is another staple, like I'm gonna have some canned green beans in my pantry. Fresh tomato, I don't know if y'all can see that. We have some fresh tomato on there. I'll post pictures after. So one bowl, your hamburger steak with some gravy. Y'all probably couldn't see the gravy too well. Um, with rice 
and I have some onions and mushrooms and my green beans and my tomatoes. Now I'm going to tell you how I prepared it. So let me move the camera. This is, y'all, um, hold on, I'm putting it on top of that bowl over there, which is not good. Okay. Honestly, when I share with y'all how I did this, you're probably going to think, I have lost my ever-loving mind. But I, one of the fun um, things that I enjoy in the kitchen so much is trying different crazy things. And I mean, I'm going to be real and honest. Sometimes it is a flop. Sometimes it's not very often because just not very often I'll do completely stupid stuff. Um, but I like trying different methods, different techniques of cooking. So here we go on my let's see if y'all can see this okay that is a picture of my hamburger steak so what I did is there's the hamburger patty it's covered in cheese right now I love cast iron so I just took the pre-made patty fried it in the cast iron and then I chopped onion and sauteed my onion. These are uh, mushrooms from a jar. Um, so I got my meat going. I sauteed my onions and then threw my mushrooms in there and my garlic. Y'all know I love me some garlic. I keep a jar of minced garlic in the refrigerator. Um, and it, I always, I have garlic salt, garlic powder, fresh garlic, uh, minced garlic in a jar and then I also have this huge bag of whole garlic from Sam so all versions of garlic always have on hand just to use for whatever and then so once I got my the hamburger patty and the um, onions kind of sauteed and then put my mushrooms in there I took beef broth which is another staple, beef broth and chicken broth that I buy big bulk in Sam's too, are also staples. I can always find a use for those. So then I dumped beef broth into that and that became my gravy. I wanted kind of a thin gravy for this particular bowl. Sometimes I want a thick gravy, but I wanted that. This is where y'all gonna think I'm crazy. So I took those green beans no, I don't want to, let's see, cancel. It was trying to end the live on me. No, I don't want to end the live yet. Okay, get back to these green beans over here. Okay, do y'all see those green beans? I'm trying to get my, there we go. Do y'all see those green beans? Yeah, they're on a skillet. So I took um, green beans from a can. I put a little olive oil in my skillet and Dump, I drained, I drained the green beans out of the can first, get all the water off, and then I put a little olive oil in my skillet and dump those green beans in there. And I purposely wanted them to get like a little char on them. So that was just a little bit different technique. And then I'm not gonna pick up the um, computer again because um, y'all know what success rice in a boiler looks like, right? I boiled my success rice in beef broth, more beef broth instead of water, just to give it a little more flavor. So um, fairly quick, a lot of pre-made ingredients, still a really good meal to put together, but I, I didn't have the time to like roll out a bunch of hamburger patties. So it was just quicker having the pre-made and canned green beans through the skillet, garlic, olive oil. And here we go. One more time. You have one bowl hamburger steak uh, with rice and your thin broth gravy and your green beans. And then again, those homemade tomatoes. I'm trying to get y'all see that better, but it's not acting right. Those homemade tomatoes right there, trust me. Gotta have tomatoes. I love the flavor of the tomatoes with the green beans. So there you have it. Just um, on those nights when you just don't quite have time to necessarily do everything homemade, use some of your pre-made ingredients and throw together a one bowl dinner. Thank you for watching. Live life, y'all.